Okay, so Project Turbo S uh, harmonic damper install. So I just made a simple tool here, as you can see. So this is uh, 16 mil by two threaded rod because that's what the thread of our damper or crankshaft is, as you can see. So that's a 16 millimeter by two pitch. And uh, I just made a simple tool here. So a couple of nuts, as you can see. This nut here on the end is welded. Uh, it's a 24 mil nut, 16 by two thread size again, so it's metric. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, use this simple tool I made instead of buying one. Uh, might be cheaper to buy one if you factor in the time, but anyways, I just made this thing. So it's got a couple of big washers, a little sleeve here that, that'll actually push the, the damper on the crank snout, as we see here. And I'll reposition the camera and I'll show you how this, uh, how this thing works. So again, it's a 16 by two threaded rod, so that's metric. Um, and it's a 24 mil nut if you actually want to know the size of that. Also just FYI, a 15 16 wrench also works. Let's see if I can do this here. You see? So that's a 15 16, 15 16 standard, or not standard, but a uh, SAE wrench. So Imperial. So anyway, so I'll set this up, I'll screw this rod in there and I'll put the balancer on. Of course, we're gonna grease the uh, snout here with some grease just to make it easier to put on. And uh, I'll show you how that works. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got a threaded rod on here. And I'm just threading this by hand into here. And of course, here's our sleeve and our, here's our nut. So we're gonna thread this all the way to the seats to the back. And this nut is actually welded onto this rod. So that makes it uh, pretty easy. My wrench here. So we're just threading this into our crank now. There was already some grease or ARP lube in there. So we'll see how this, uh, this works here. Hopefully it works. So you can actually buy a tool, but I didn't do that. I just made one. I went and bought some, again, 16 mil by two threaded rod. And uh, yeah, so let's see what happens here. Hope you can see this. Anyway, so we got the washer against our damper back here, and we've got our sleeve here. So we're just gonna tighten this this nut here now, and we'll pull the uh, the damper onto our crankshaft. Yeah, it's working. You guys can see that, let me just check the position. So again, we've got the sleeve pushing on our washer, which is in turn pushing on our damper. And now we're just turning this and pulling it onto our crank. And I didn't heat this up or anything, so it's just cold or same temperature as the garage, whatever the hell that is. So yeah, so that's all we do. We just turn this on. And of course, yeah, we can, you can see it's, it's just, it's not even tight in there. It's just kind of snug, which is good. Yeah, it's going on no problem. Now they say the, uh, the spec when I put the, the damper bolt back is 240 foot pounds, but I only did it for, to 180, which is, which is fine. And I do have a screwdriver through one of the holes in the uh, flex plate here. Uh, the, the plastic handle is pushing down against the, uh, the bottom oil pan deck, so no damage is being incurred. Anyways guys, you get the idea here, so 
again, this is this is tight. It's just. I should probably oil this damn thing here. That makes it easier. Going on straight. I think we're at the end there, guys. Yep, that's it. Now we just turn this out. Another trick is you can actually heat the damper up in the oven to 180 degrees F. There we go. So again, using our homemade tool tool here. Again, this this nut is welded to the end, 24 mil, 16 by 2 metric, and we just used it like that. I should have threaded. I should have oiled the threads before I did this, but anyways, it's all good. And now we'll just see if this thing goes in nice, and then we'll torque it to 180, and we should be good. Here we go. So this bolt, the ARP crank bolt is a 27 mil. So Still rolling. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys want to see me crank or 
torque this to 180, but uh, I'll keep it rolling and then decide if I'm gonna put that in the seat. Right now this is set to 75 foot-pounds because I just did my uh, flex plate bolt bolts with Loctite. 75 right there. So. Okay, so we got it at 150, so we'll see what happens. Keep it clicks. <clears throat> yep. That's 150, guys. And again, I just got my plastic handle screwdriver in the back here through one of the flex plate holes. The one that I'm not using for a bolt, so that's fine. So we got it at 150. I'm gonna go up to 180 now. Okay, guys, so this is 180, so we'll see what happens. Okay, 180 foot pounds right there. So I think we'll leave it there and I'll double check the spec. I thought, I'm sure it's 180, but we'll, we'll leave it there. So when you got, anyways, guys, I did a little bit, did a, little, a little bit more research and uh, I guess this is supposed to be between 235 and 245 foot pounds. So I got it set to 230, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's 230. It didn't move much from 180, so I'm sure we're fine. So anyway, so this is 230, should be good. And that's it, guys. And it's about, uh, it's almost midnight here, so. I'm gonna go Ubering right after I finish this. Yeah, so the spec is 235 to 245, guys. So uh, that's, that's per ARP, so. We've got an ARP balancer bolt here, and uh, that's what we've done. So I went from 180, as you saw earlier. Now we're at 230. It should be fine. Anyways, we'll just break this thing loose here a little bit. So you're just using a screwdriver with a plastic handle against the deck here to stop it from turning, so that's nice. So yeah, there we go. And that's how you put a uh, damper on an LS. The flex, plate, plate, the flex plate bolts are already torqued on the back. 75 foot-pounds with some blue Loctite. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. So now I can put the oil pan on. Can't use a factory windage tray with this because we've got the four inch stroke. I'll show you right here. Because when we, when we use this here, it interferes with the rod bolts. This is a four inch stroke crank, so it's, a, it's not gonna work. But uh, the, uh, our wall pan has a, has a windage tray in there, so it'll be fine, as you can see here. So we're just gonna use that, that'll be fine. So I'll put that on next. All right guys, well that's a uh, little quick little video. Uh, damper install on our on our four inch stroke Lunati crank went pretty good. No problems uh, Yeah, so I probably I'll probably post this video probably edit some parts out where I uh, You're just watching me turn shit, but uh, but again guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching